What's up, YouTube land? This is Damien coming live at you for another game review. And this week, well, today, my game that I'm gonna be reviewing is WWE 12. Now I'm gonna be doing a live game review of this, so I'm gonna be going through a couple a match or so. I'm gonna be showing you the um, the menus and how everything starts working. You know, so I'm gonna show you the mechanics of the game, show you how it it stacks up. Um. Let's see how the game is, like, you know, how, well, how the good and bad of the game. Sorry, I'm, it's kind of late, so, you know, I'm tired. So, I've had a long, long day. Um, alright. First up, I'm going to be doing the reviews. So, let's see. I'm going to review the menu and stuff to show you what's new, what's... And what can also be added to this menu as the day goes by. So obviously tomorrow I'm gonna to be doing WWE 13. So I'm um, so let's get through this. Um, all right, let's set this up. All right, so hope y'all can see the screen. All right, all right. Now as you can see in the menu screen. There's also the play menu, of course, the exhibition, be the one-on-ones, the two-on-two, -two, triple threats, fail four ways, six minutes, handicaps, and also the specialties, obviously the triple scrambles, free brawl, Royal Rumble, and a lot of the match creator. Also the WWE Universe, which I see you saw my last video. Not, this is not tailored to everything, but this is also a big part of the game. Basically, like, if you want to have your matches ranged for, like, you know, Rivalries and stuff like that. Obviously, you can see I'm the WWE Champion and the Continental Unified, you know. So, you can see all that. Alright. Just get out of that. See the road to WrestleMania, of course. This is always going to be here. In any WWE game you play, there's always going to be a road to WrestleMania mode or a story mode, nonetheless. Obviously, the WWE Creations. The Superstar, obviously, you create a Superstar. Entrance, the move set, the finishers. Obviously, you can create your own finisher. You can create your own story. I've done this a couple of times, but I don't think we have a lot of time, so we can do that. So I gotta go somewhere in a little bit. So let's speed this up. The arena, you can make your own arena to show you what. So you can play in your own arena and you know flaunt it off in the online mode. The logo, obviously, you can make your own logos, put them on post, like you know, like. Those big signs that they have to show in the, in the audience. And WWE Highlight Reel, of course. I'm um, basically like playbacks of the, like your matches and stuff, obviously. Obviously, you know what online is. You go, you go into online and you play against pl players all over the world. I've played a in a couple matches, so I'm not really that good in online mode. But out here, I'm still training this game. It's kind of hard to play. Options, of course, you know, the unlockables, checklist, of course, so it shows you everything you've unlocked in the game, the story mode and everything. Um, superstars, of course. Sorry, I don't have that much time, so I'm, I'm just trying to go through everything. Let's see, let's go to the titles. WWE Championship, the World Heavyweight, you know, the Tag Team, the World Tag Team, Intercontinental, United States, Cruiserweights, the Women's Hardcore Championship, the ECW Championship, which is pretty good. I would prefer the old one over the new one, but that's just my opinion. The World, Heavy, the World Heavyweight Championship, WCW style, of course, you gotta love it. The Divas Championship, the Unified WWE Tag Team Championship, of course. The Million Dollar Championship, obviously, if you've seen the Million Dollar Man Ted, Ted DiBiase, and you know wrestling like I do, you know this championship. Sorry, sorry, guys, I had to adjust it. You obviously know... The title that JBL used to have before John Cena took it from the undisputed WWE Championship. So, you know what this is. The classic East WWE Championship, what I was talking about. This is the championship I would recommend, but I would say, alright, now let's go keep it going through. Out of two eras, WWE Championship, obviously, the belt of Stone Cold and the Rock Hole, Rock Held. The championship is title, I, I was forewarned that this is not a real championship in WWE. I wish it was, but I would say. It would be fantastic if this, if this title actually, actually was made. 
Um, the classic WWE Intercontinental Championship, obviously, you know from the Ravishing Rick Rude, Bret Hart, all of them, they held this title. So, you know, the European Championship, everybody knows the classic battles of the European Championship. If you don't know, go, go on YouTube and find out. The WWE Light Heavyweight Championship. Not many people recognize this championship much because it really hasn't been defended. It really doesn't be defended. Well, it hasn't really ever been defended. I really have ever seen a, a WWE Light Heavyweight Championship match. But let's get one going. WWE Championship WCW style. Now, if you play through the story mode and with these two titles, the Heavyweight Championship, of course, the WCW style, you'll know what what's going on with these titles. So... I'm not going to burst anyone's bubble if, if you don't, well, you don't play it. You haven't played it yet. Now, let's go through a match. Alright, I'm going to do, well, one for it now, okay? <clears throat> let's go through a tables match. Let's play the mechanics of the game, shall we? Um, obviously, I'm, as a YouTuber, I play, I have my own character in the game. My, obviously, you know, <laughs> I got to play it. You got you to gotta play to win. <laughs> so, I made my own character. Let's see, um... I'll play against the well recognized favorite Kane, C Y D Evil, obviously. So I I made my own costume of him. You can go to the Superstar Threads. Um, let's see. Obviously, as I said, you can make your own arena. These are the arenas that you can play about. Well, to play Vulcan things that I've made. But let's not go through this. Let's play on WCW Nitro. Obviously, you know if you watched TNT before when WCW was out. This is the actual WCW arena they play it. So let's get to the game. I'll say I'm gonna say within the game obviously you can see right there the limb targeting system. So you can target certain parts of their bodies. So you can well get them all right and crap, you know, so they have specific moves tailored to the limb targeting system. So that's a very good mechanic in the game. I would say that it's not much will help. Because you can basically attack everybody, so let's go through this. Obviously, you've seen Kane, this burnt crispy ass, this burnt crispy red ass. Yeah, let's, let's not. I see his burnt crispy ass, so let me see if we can win against him. <laughs> um, let's see. I haven't played this in a long time, the last time I've ever played it, so let's do this. Yes, I've, as you can see. Yeah, it's kind of loud, sorry. Um, alright, let's play through the game, let's see what we can do here, if I remember all the controls, so, let's do this, um, alright, tables match, as you can see, it's kind of a little crafty, I mean, you can still see it in the um, crowd, that the people do look kind of fake, but they've been improved upon, as you can see, they actually look pretty much decent. They actually look like there's actually there are actual people in there that you can see what people like to. Obviously, you can see that guy in the yellow. He's wearing a Red Mysterio t-shirt. So, you, as I can see, it, it actually looks pretty real. Um, well, not real, real for the pixelated, but, I mean, okay, let's get to the gameplay itself. As you can see, Kane is kind of beating me down right now. <laughs> I guess I got it on, like, hard difficulty, so it's, he's going to be trying to crack me a little bit. Um, alright, let's see this. Um, now, as you can see, Kane, it, obviously the characters in the game looks pretty good, pretty decent. They actually look like the actual characters in WWE, sorry, wrestlers in WWE. So, as you can see, I'm not running as fast as I should be, I don't know why that is. And, um, I've, I've tackled him, like, multiple times, and it looks like... He, he, I just kicked them, and he just falls back and just keeps on coming at me. Like, come on now, folks. You tell me if that's not shifty. And he just ducks out the way like he's some kind of freaking... I, I don't even know what to call it. And I just put him on his head, and he just gets right back up like nothing happened. Normally it takes three seconds, but in a tables match, the bell can uh, Let's see, let me try to get him down, get him out. Um... Oh, see, I, I put him to the table. What the fuck? Like, come on now. I just put myself to the table. Like, that did not put him to the table, but I put myself to the table by jumping face first on it. Like, come on, y'all. You tell me that this is wrong. 
No, King. It doesn't weigh really over 200 pounds. Well, I guess, I guess it could. I guess it could. Oh my God! I just whacked him in the head with a chair. With, like, you know, it's it's kind of ridiculous. But let's let's just try to end this match as close as possible. Obviously, I'm a big Undertaker fan, so I I do use some of his moves. Um, sorry, I'm. I'm trying to grab and stuff, but I'm used to playing right now. I played WWE 2011 for so damn long. It's like I forgot the controls of this game. So if I if I spaz out a little bit, so please forgive me. But let's see. Um, as you can see, the game looks good. Good for a 2012 game. I thought it would be a little lackluster, but as you can see, it looks pretty good. Oh my fucking! I just put him to the damn table. Like come on. It's like, it's ridiculous. You get mad at this game. Like, I just put him to the table. It's like, yes, I'm about to win, and you don't win. Like, son of a bitch. Stop it already, damn it. Like, come on, you gotta lose. Now, let me see if I can get anything out. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I think I deserve that. But let me let me try to put him down. Let me just hope that I can put him through it. Uh, okay. Um, as you can see, the actual arena looks really good, really decent. Um. Now, yeah, let me get him down so I can see, so I can show you the entire arena. Uh, crap. Uh, okay, now let's get to this. Um, as you can see, actually looks perfect. It actually looks like the actual Monday Nitro stage. I can stand on top of it, you know. Um, obviously you can't really go nowhere in the game. Like in SmackDown, here comes the pain. You can go to the back and stuff with your fight, which I thought I think they should make a comeback with it, but. I don't see if they, I don't know if they're gonna, so let me just shut my mouth right now. Um, now let me try to win, obviously you see the apron, actually looks like the actual apron from, from the actual arena that they used to set up. Oh my god, he just basically just blew up the table. Like come on now Kane, come on now, I know you're big, but I know you're not that fat to just clap the table by just running into it. Um, Oh, um, yeah, I put I put his head on the table, folks, so, yeah, I think the reaction to that would, is very good, because, you know, if, I, if I put a person on the table, I want them, I, if I put them on a table or a chair, I want them to react like I put them through it, so, yeah, I just choke slammed them through the table, obviously, Undertaker style, so, yeah, let's, let's get on with this, I want, they actually show the replays of the match, and they actually show the faulty, messed up parts. Like, I put them to the table right there, but obviously they got shorted out. Um, obviously right there, he, he kind of beat me to it. Yeah, I know the song is pretty loud, sorry. I imported it. Uh, um. Obviously my guy right there. I didn't get, I barely got beaten up at all, and I look like I'm, I just got wrecked. But nah, I'm good. <laughs> it looks like he's got wrecked. That's ridiculous. Um, my my standing on the game is it's pretty decent. is It's a decent game. I'm saying like they could have done it a little better. Like okay, let's check out the WWE shop. Um, I didn't I didn't say this when we were doing the menu, but they also have a WWE shop. Obviously, from every WWE game that's on the PS3, they're already gonna have a WWE shop. I downloaded a couple characters like The Rock, Michael Cole, yeah, um, I, I downloaded Michael Cole because it's funny because I wanted to beat his ass in a match. I was like, it was long overdue, I wanted to kick him in the head. And in 2012, I really wanted to. Um, Shawn Michaels, of course, he's one of my idols. I love Shawn Michaels growing up. Christian, Trish Stratus, I adore Trish Stratus. I love seeing her in action. Alicia Fox, Vicky Girl. If you if you were like me, you really want to, to see Ricky Girl get her head kicked in. Um, Karma. Now, obviously, if you watch TNA, you you'll know her as Awesome Kong. Um, Nikki Bella, Brie Bella. Obviously, I I'm all about the divas. I love the Bella Twins. They're one of my favorite divas of 
um, in WWE today, or has ever will be, because I love the Bella Twins, so don't get me wrong here. Um, Batista, the animal. One of my favorite char one of my one of my all time favorites, but he's not he's kinda of went down scared. Brothers Clay, I thought it was pretty cool to play Brother Clay in the game, so I, I thought it was pretty pretty cool to get him. The Macho Man, Randy Savage. I thought it would be cool to get the Macho Man because obviously I love I love everything about him. His bad his badass style, you know. Mick Foley, of course, um I didn't get him yet, but I'm gonna be trying soon. Um he's actually the hardcore icon, I can't believe how many times he got smacked in the head with a chair and kept on walking. Um, Kane, the new attire. I don't know how many attires this dude has. <laughs> um, Doom again, Edge. I don't know why I got this, but I did not get this. Edge, when they, he used to have this style, he used to be the coolest. I loved it. I loved him when he, back then. Hawk and Animal. Now, obviously, these are just attires, but... I don't know what other attires they have from Jim Ross and Jared the King Lawler. These two are my favorite commentators right here. Michael Cole kind of sucked. The uh, Mrs. Awesome attires. I don't want to know. Just the attributes, of course, all unlockable. Obviously, I did all unlock everything. Um, the WHL fan access. Obviously, if you know what this is, it's basically a premium package where you can get everything from the downloads and just one thing. Obviously, they got some free stuff. Obviously, I don't know why they put this on the free with 99 cents. I don't get it. But, let's kind of wrap this up. Um, Alright, y'all. My official rating on this game is... I'd say it's probably a 9 out of 10. Well, let, let, let me go down one because of the crap... The kind of the crappy way that they issued the game. So, I would say my official standpoint on it will probably be a 8 and a half out of 10. Just for the simple fact of, you had some crappy material in there. I didn't get why for the all of holy god that they made such crappy people in the audience that looks absolutely pixelated and the mechanics in the game was abysmal. Like, if I try to put someone through a table as you saw, I didn't break it. I just bent one of the things. Obviously you saw I put him through it. I put, and at the beginning of the match when I threw him outside the ring, I tackled him, he went on the table and just bounced off, like, the f what the hell? I put him through, I put him through. Like, come on now, it doesn't matter how quick the matches go. Oh crap, sorry. Something in my eye, something in my eye. Um, I don't care how, how long it was, you, don't, you had no right to, like, you know, make the dude bounce off when I clearly put him through. Alright, y'all. I want you to rate this game for me, so if you can, like my like my video, please subscribe to my channel or something, so, uh, sorry, from gaming to YouTube world, hey yo, peace.